Ha! Now last time we came to this place, we didn't find anything because we came a bit late in the day, but we're here a little early. This is what Brian refers to as a flipper's paradise. Okay. If you've been here with us before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you haven't been here with, you're in for a treat because I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna score big today. What do you think? Oh yeah, always think that way. There's a couple of reptile expos I know that are a flipper's paradise. <laughs> <laughs> big step, Dave, coming through. Where the hell are we? Is that a, a dance move or something? Or? <laughs> Blue belly. Blue belly, that's the first. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. What you got there, Brian? Nice little blue belly. Oh yeah, Scaloporus. Isn't that pretty? So only the males will have blue bellies like that. But the females also have blue, right? It's just not as not as, not as pronounced, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Brian flipped yeah, the first that's thing. A really good looking little lizard. <laughs> Very cool. I have a very good feeling about this board. Rubber ball. Oh, <laughs> dude, shut up. <sighs> Look at that. We haven't been here for more than two minutes yet. You just Look at that. You kid already. Now, you know, Brian? You, you had you tell me you flipped that board already. And you, you I did not. I did not. I am just that good of a herper. <laughs> Look at that beauty. That's the head, right? Yeah. <laughs> The, the one Isn't with the just, the one with the eyes or the yeah. two head. <laughs> Isn't that just the most interesting? Story? Man, how awesome is this? Come here. And this is just the beginning. And he's really cold. That guy looks blind as a bat right now. Oh, the snake. <laughs> and you usually see scars on their tails, right? Mm-hmm. Where yeah. Where mice and rats have been chewing on them. Right. Isn't that so? There you go. What? Oh, you want me to hold it? Well, I didn't know if you wanted to get more shots of just the head and whatever. Oh, he's deep in shed right now, eh? Yeah. Here, I'm going to let you have a, handle that, and I'm going to go film him later somewhere. Okay. We'll find more. Haven't been here for more than literally two minutes. Actually, I mean, in this exact, like, literally, we just got here. First rubber ball already. I told you it's going to be a good day. Here you go, Dave. Thank you. Put that in your pocket. Thank you. Rubber ball buggy bumpers. <laughs> Always fun to come out here, man. And after Dave found that one right there so fast, I figured I'd be seeing him underneath every single board. But we got a lot of herping ahead of us today, so this is, this is not even the last spot we're hitting or, or anything. We got, there's a lot more coming. Oh, got a little more toasty, had to take off the flannel. Yeah, yeah. Didn't find anything uh, other than that first one that Dave found, but... Oh, poison oak, poison oak. No, that, those are blackberries. Blackberry, poison oak, blackberry. <laughs> it's not poisonous blackberry. Uh. It burns, it burns. <laughs> ha. Not completely skunked. Got a little baby garter. Look at how tiny this little dude is. This is a uh, oh, a very stinky snake now. <laughs> little baby garter snake. It deep, deep, deep in shed and very spinny and very stinky. Come on, little buddy. Show you out, show you out. Look at how cute. Got a little tiny baby garter. Come on, little bud, I'm not gonna eat you. I'm not gonna eat you, I promise. There you go. I got a little, the tiniest little baby garter you've ever seen, oh, nice. deep in shed. So that's a coast garter, or maybe it's a valley garter. I'll have to key him out. And it looks like a coast garter to me.
I just had to film myself in front of this awesome VW bus real quick. Cause look, the color shirt, we're almost like, we're like the same. Last time we came here, it was so foggy, you couldn't see anything. I remember the video, yeah. But today, a little different, huh? Look at that kelp forest out there. Mm -hmm. Brian, I gotta ask you, have you ever come here and not found anything? Mm, sure. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been here with you and not found anything, but I'm... I'm... Okay, but I have been here and not found anything. Okay. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> well, while, while we're looking it's for like these going awesome... fishing and not catch anything. You know? Right. But yeah, I have been here. Well, while we're looking for these awesome snakes, I wanted to give a shout out to a Mark Black over at Rising Mark. A young kid, herping, doing some adventures over there. They, up and coming, I think. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. You guys can go check him out. Here's a little clip of him doing his thing. Please go check out Mark and uh, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Just thinking maybe if we went off the beaten path just a little bit, we might find something, but. Nope. <laughs> There's a lot of thorny vines in there. <laughs> I was thinking that uh, maybe the reason we haven't seen anything and maybe not going to see anything is that we probably shouldn't eat them every time we find them. That's what Brian and I have been doing, we've been eating them when if, we find them. If they didn't taste like gummy worms, maybe we wouldn't do that. Well, personally, I think the reason we haven't seen one yet is that it's a little bit warm today for it, but it's not like we got skunked on the day and we're not even close to done yet. So even if we don't find anything here, the next spot is coming up. I got to say, as awesome as it is to be out here with Brian and Dave, Herpin, beautiful place like this. I mean, look at this place, it's beautiful. I still, I wanna go home and see the family. It's been been about four days now, which which is shorter compared to some of the trips I've been on, but more and more, I just, I just really wanna be home with the family a lot, which uh, it's just the truth. This is still fun though. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a real herb trip for me if I didn't rip a hole in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little little respite, and then we'll get back on it, and uh, we got another spot to hit. More species, yes. Well, we've come to our third to final location here at Sunset Beach, but the one issue is that all the spots where Dave had come four years ago, where they were flipping over and finding the legless lizards, they did some kind of beach cleanup here, and moved all the driftwood. So all the legless lizards that got driven out of their habitat from agriculture up there, and that's why they ended up down here on the beach, are not having any driftwood to hide in either. So this isn't our final location. This was the third to final location, like I said. So we've got one more place to go and hopefully find the species. But I mean, in the last 24 hours, we've had an amazing amount of uh, things. I didn't, I didn't film last night, but last night we found a bunch of baby bull snakes and or not bull snakes but gopher snakes and rattlesnakes on a road just outside of my hometown which I will take you guys to sometime um, I just didn't have a light so I didn't film there last night but it was cool and we'll go there again but maybe one of these picnic benches will have uh, the legless lizards otherwise we'll go to our next spot hold that thought there's some drifted drifted drift drifted driftwood here's the hoping One thing, if you guys didn't already know, which I'm sure most of you do, if you're out herping, you move something, you want to move it back. Simple as that.
Oh, must have flipped about a hundred logs or something like that. Didn't find a single thing except for this leukistic crab claw. Yes. <laughs> Moving on. How'd that go? <laughs> Don't do anything you're gonna regret. Like in Australia. My zipper is up. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about in Australia? I have no idea. Oh, yes, I have no idea what Brian's camera is on. <laughs> Remember when you were in the van and you had something in your hand? Those, those of you guys that what watched. Did you tell him? Those of you guys that watched a lot of the videos probably recognize this place last time we came here with Brian and Garrett. And this is our final destination. If you've made it this far in the video, please go ahead and whack the like button or the dislike button. I don't really care which one. Uh, but hopefully we find, this is the one place where Brian has found this certain species that we've been trying to find here with him the last few times we've come. But we haven't ever gotten to see one here before with him, but he has seen them here before. So hopefully, hopefully we find one. Wild turkey. Wild turkey 101? Yep. Nice. I like wild turkey 101. Is gonna off, and I'm gonna go back to the car and just take a little break. Okay, hang on, I gotta take a break. <laughs> so Brian is leading us up this mountain, and hopefully, the good luck that we've had earlier in the day is gonna continue up here, and we're gonna find hopefully a Zonata, which is the mountain kings up here. And I don't know, this is a beautiful landscape, and I'm sure it's full of snakes, which means we'll find one or two. Remember, it's the Lampropeltis multifasciata. Oh, it's not Zonata anymore? Yeah, it's Zonata multifasciata. They, we just call them Zonatas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, a, as opposed to the pyros that are, you know. In fact, I think recently, didn't they take multifasciata out of the equation and just make it a Zonata of some another? Who knows what these taxonomists are doing. Yeah. You, you got it there? No, it's, it's right over here. Oh, yeah. you got the scorpion there? Yeah. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's a cute little scorpion. And eventually I'll bring some bigger boards up here. Nobody knows that I'm creating my own little Zanata farm right, right here. Guys, so if any of you out there know what kind of scorpion that was, comment below because I'm really curious to know what kind of scorpion that was. What were you saying? I was saying that here's some of my boards and I'm... Uh, oh, you even have boards laid out up here. Yeah. And then, so I'm going to build, I'm going to create, literally, my own little Zanata collecting farm. Fantastic. Right here, right here. All right, well, let's collect some Zonatas, not collect them as in bring them home. Collect them as in film them. We've done really well today on finding species. Uh, even if we don't find anything here, I, I just love being out here I just because of how it looks. I'm sure the footage looks amazing. Just, it's beautiful. I mean, I'm literally here almost every day. I'm glad you guys have that sentiment. I want to find a snake. <laughs> Trees that have fallen recently. Hey, uh, Brian? Yo. Help, this. help you flip that? Come on, Dave, you can do that. Oh. Come on, you can flip that by yourself, Dave. Take care. Like a little crumpy, huh? mm -hmm. Have fun. Looks yeah. like you are. Well, we certainly aren't giving up yet, but we're definitely losing light fast. So we did find 
at two of four places there. That's 50%, so that's more than half. So we're happy with that. I'll put a link down in the description for Brian and Dave's channel so you guys can go check them out if you haven't already. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.